Are you tired of lag, low FPS, and input delay ruining your Fortnite experience? In this guide, I'll show you exactly how to boost your FPS and get zero delay using potato graphics settings that work for Intel, AMD, and NVIDIA GPUs. Stay tuned and turn your low-end PC into a Fortnite beast step by step. Gear Up Booster is a best tool to reduce your ping while playing games. It works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it for free from my description and enjoy smoother gameplay with lower ping. Step 1. Maximize CPU performance by unlocking all processors for Fortnite. In this step, I will teach you how to unlock all the cores of your processor, CPU, so that Fortnite can use the full power of your computer's brain. First, press the Windows key on your keyboard and type System Configuration in the search bar. When it shows up in the list, click on it to open it. When the System Configuration window opens, look at the top and click on the tab that says Boot. After that, click on the button that says Advanced Options. Now a new window will appear. In this window, look for the option that says Number of Processors. Tick the box next to it by clicking on it. Then click on the drop-down menu below that option, and from the list, select the highest number that is available. This number represents how many cores your CPU has. Doing this makes sure that all the cores of your CPU will be used together, which helps your PC run faster and more smoothly, especially while gaming. After choosing the highest number of processors, click OK, then click Apply, and finally click OK again to close the window. Now your CPU is unlocked to use all its cores, which gives you better performance in Fortnite. Step 2. Making your CPU work better by unparking CPU cores for Fortnite. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Your CPU has multiple cores, but sometimes Windows parks or turns off some of these cores to save power. This can slow down your computer, especially while gaming. To fix this issue, you will need to unpark all your CPU cores using a tool. Right-click on the program icon and choose Run as administrator so that it can have full access to your system. When the program opens, it will show you which CPU cores are parked, disabled, and which ones are active, working. To activate all the parked CPU cores, simply click on the button that says Unpark inside the program. This will enable all CPU cores, and your processor will now run with its full power, which will boost your computer's performance while playing Fortnite. Step 3. Fortnite Potato Grass Graphics Settings for AMD and NVIDIA GPUs to make Fortnite run better on low-end PCs. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. You will need to use special graphics settings depending on the graphics card GPU you have. If your computer has an NVIDIA GPU, go to your desktop and open the folder called NVIDIA Potato Graphics. Inside that folder, you will find two files. One file is named Fortnite Potato Graphics Settings. The other file is called NVIDIA Profile. Inspector double-click on NVIDIA Profile Inspector to open it. If a message shows up asking for permission, click Yes to allow it. When it opens, go to the Profile section at the top. In the drop-down menu, find and select Fortnite. Now you will see all the Fortnite settings, including where the game is installed on your computer. Click on Import Profile, then go back to the NVIDIA Potato Graphics folder and choose the file named Fortnite Potato Graphics Settings. Click Open to load the new settings, then click on Apply Changes to save them. If you ever want to go back to the original settings, you can click on Restore Current Profile to NVIDIA Default. If your computer uses an AMD or Intel GPU, go to your desktop and open the folder called AMD Graphics. Inside that folder, find the file named GameUserSettings.ini. Right-click on it and choose Copy. Now press Windows plus R on your keyboard, type percent local app data percent, and press Enter. Go to the following folder path. Fortnite Game, Saved, Config. Windows Client inside the Windows Client folder, right-click and choose Paste and then click Replace the file in the destination. This file has special ultra-low graphics settings that turn off heavy effects like shadows and grass, which will reduce lag and make Fortnite run faster on weak or old PCs. Step 4. Optimizing System Memory using ISLC program for Fortnite. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. In this step, we will improve how your RAM memory works by using a program called ISLC, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. First, open the ISLC program. At the top of the window, you will see how much total RAM your system has. Now look at your total memory. You need to type half of that amount in the Standby List section. For example, if it shows 32,000 mem bmidma, type in 16,000. If it shows 16,000 mem bmidma, type in 8,000. Next, check the box for Start ISLC Minimized, and also check Launch ISLC on User Logon so that the program starts automatically in the background every time you boot your PC. Now look to the right side and check the box for Enable Custom Timer Resolution. Below that, type 0.52 in the box. 
leave the ISLC polling rate at 1000, unless you have a very slow or old computer. If your PC is very slow, then change the polling rate to 1000 instead. After finishing all the settings, click Stop, then click Start, and finally click Purge Standby List. This will clear unnecessary memory usage. In this step, I'm going to show you the best tool to get stable ping while gaming. So first, download the Gear Up Booster tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the end tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let gear up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to automatic for the best results. Finally close the window and launch your game using gear up booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Step 5. Reduce keyboard input lag using filter keys setter for Fortnite. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. In this step, I'll help you make your keyboard respond much faster using a small tool called Filter Keys Setter. First, open the Filter Keys Setter program. You will see three important settings to change. Set Ignore Under to 0 ms. This removes any delay before your keystroke is detected. Set Repeat Delay to 130 in ms. This controls how fast a key repeats when you hold it down. Set Repeat Rate to 10 ms. This allows faster repeated key presses when a key is held. After setting those values, check the small box on the right to enable the settings. Then click OK to save and apply everything. These settings will make your keyboard react faster, which is very helpful in Fortnite where quick movements and fast actions matter. Step 6. Optimizing Windows using the Ultimate Power Plan for Fortnite. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. To get the best performance from your PC, you need to make sure it is using the Ultimate Performance Power Plan. Go to the Windows search bar and type Power, then click on Change Power Plan when it appears. If your power plan is set to balanced, that's not good for gaming because it lowers CPU performance to save energy. You need to switch your power plan to high performance, or even better, to ultimate performance. To turn on ultimate performance mode, go to your FPS boost pack folder and run the file called ultimate performance command as administrator. After running it, a message will pop up saying that ultimate performance mode has been enabled. Now go back to your power plan settings and select ultimate performance from the list of available power plans. This will keep your CPU running at its highest level, giving you better evips and a much smoother Fortnite experience. Step 7. Optimizing Windows using the Storage Sense settings for Fortnite. Now we'll clean up your computer using a built-in Windows feature called Storage Sense, which helps remove junk files and free up space. Open Settings on your PC, then type Storage Sense in the search bar at the top. Click on Storage Sense and turn the switch on to enable it. Storage Sense automatically deletes temporary files and other junk that can slow down your system. Next, click on Configure Cleanup Schedules to change how often it runs. Set it to run cleanup every day, and set it to delete files in the recycle bin after 14 days. This will keep your system clean, free up space, and make your PC faster for Fortnite and other games. Once you've done this, click Run Storage Sense now to start the cleanup right away. Doing this regularly keeps your system healthy and prevents slowdowns in performance. If this full Fortnite optimization guide helped you, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more guides about Fortnite and PC performance boosts. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.